What we show here are our solutions for the operation of video wall systems in control rooms. So what we have here is the NetPix controller, which is the graphics controller for the connection of the incoming signals, in, in the, for example, in the traffic management center. You can put almost any signal to it. It's uh, DVI inputs, uh, IP inputs, uh, traffic management systems, the signals coming from always any destination. You just plug into the system and the NetPix controller generates an entire desktop surface on your video wall system, or you can even distribute the system uh, the, the signals to various video walls in, inside your building. So for example, for collaboration purposes, having the signals in one room or in the other. So what we have here is the latest version of the controller. It's been updated, it's now in its version 4800 generation 2.1 with updated hardware components using SSD uh, hardware drives, for example. Yeah. Latest technology for the high, high quality and professional uh, visualization in control rooms. What we use to operate the systems for the administration of all the incoming signals is the ICON software, which is now in its fifth generation. It's a very famous and popular software used in the industry, in, in, especially in control room applications. ICON version 5 comes with a couple of new features like multi-mouse, for example. So you can have various uh, mouse cursors using the same system on one video wall, for example. It, it has a totally Re redesigned uh, graphic interface, so it's very easy to use, very innovative and very uh, simple because it uses the same layout as any other Windows software you are used to use. One of the uh, signals connected to the system is uh, our uh, DVI signals transmitted over standard networks. We use our e-streaming solution for this. Uh, which has now been updated, it also has an audio feature as well. So it's not only the distribution of video signals over standard IP networks, you also can distribute the audio signal now. Just to show the functionality of the controller, we put a transparent lid on this one, showing you how many input cards there are in the system, how many signals you can connect to the system. If you need further signals connected to the system, you can have expansion units. So you can connect virtually unlimited numbers of signals to a system. Yeah. They are, especially in traffic management uh, centers, for example, you sometimes have several thousand camera signals coming over IP networks. You have analog camera signals, you have uh, digital camera signals coming over other uh, transmission systems and IP. And you can connect all these large numbers of signals to the system and visualize them on your system, on, on the video wall. We have here the latest version of our um, EC Cube series, rear projection cubes, especially for applications in control rooms, but also in broadcast applications in the TV studio or in presentation rooms in conference areas. What's new about these? It's the EC 1000 series that's, that we updated uh, the projection system with a high brightness LED components. So it, has a now, it now has a higher brightness than we had before, which is not so important for control rooms because there usually you have a, a low ambient light but in other applications, as in TV studios or presentation areas, you have more light, so you need a display system with a higher brightness. And therefore, we have now the EC1000 series available. It, has, it is available in the full range, beginning with systems uh, from 50 inch up to systems with 100 inch screen diagonal and resolutions starting from SXGA plus in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio up to WUXGA in 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Although we have more brightness here, we don't uh, have a higher power consumption. So the power consumption with these is about the same as with the standard LEDs. So we get more brightness for the same price with the same power consumption, or even less. In order to show stereoscopic images on the Omni shapes, we added 120 Hz technology to the projector. So we're now capable of processing um, three-dimensional images. Um, it uses the active stereo approach, so you need a pair of active shutter glasses to get the three-dimensional impression of the image. What you get is an almost seamless, very high-resolution uh, three-dimensional display with a very good uh, color uniformity, with a very high lifetime, with a very good impression of depth in the image and with very brilliant colors. Of course, this system features all the other characteristics of omni shapes. You can have different screen shapes, you can build them concave, you can build them convex. So it's an omni shape with added 3D features.